All right guys, welcome back. Today's video I'm going to show you how to actually add music to your video or photos. So let's assume that you've gotten some photos you've taken at a local car show or something and you want to add music to it. So the first thing we want to do is, of course, upload our photos. Let me get rid of this too. Show you from the beginning. You open your DaVinci Resolve, go to the top left corner where it says file, click on that. Go down to where it says import media. And go to where you keep your pictures. Then you're going to select your pictures. And I just went to a cruise in, so I've got a bunch of them. So I'm just going to come down to my photos and pick a couple. Okay. Let's just say, what the heck, let's go with this one. And this one, and this one. In this one just for example so I'm just going to drag them all in right <clears throat> just assume this is the order I want them then all you got to do is click right there at the beginning and hit play just to run through your photos and make sure that's what you want how long you want them how you want them edited and all that good stuff if you okay with it hit the stop button right beside it Go back to the beginning of the timeline. Now we're going to put in our music. So we're going to go back up to the top where it says File, Import Media. And in this case, I have mine saved in Downloads, but I've also got a music folder. But And I happen to know that this is the one that I want. So click it. Come down and click Open. And now there's the music file. In some cases, depending on how you download your music, you will actually get the video file with it too. So if you look right here, you have two pieces. You've got the video file and the audio file. I want to get rid of the picture file. But whenever you do this, if you click on it, you see it's got both of them highlighted. Well, let me show you that there is a video file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click at the beginning of it and hit play. As you can see, it's got a picture and it's got audio. Well, I don't want that. I want just the audio because I'm going to move it over and the pictures. So if you look right here, there's two links, like in a necklace or a chain, however you want to look at it. That ties these together. That means that these two pieces are linked together. So just go up, click on that, until it's no longer highlighted. See how it's not glowing anymore I click on it, it's highlighted that means they're linked I click on it again it's not highlighted that means they're unlinked so just click anywhere on the screen to get rid of all the red that was around everything now as you go down and click on the top video section of it you'll see that it's just now highlighted not the audio so click on that one time go on your keyboard to where it says delete Right, you can delete it like that or click it and then right click it and it'll bring up this menu and then you go up to where it says delete selected click on that and it's gone now all you do is you drag your audio file and drag it to wherever you want it just click it and hold it and you can move it to where you want and as you see I can now drag it over now let's assume that I have some audio there that I want left while well, I just click and hold it and drag it down below the audio and I'll show you that in just a second. But this is what we got. Go back to the beginning. Now you have your pictures plus the audio or your music soundtrack. And while we're in here doing this, I'm going to show you a little trick. I'm going to separate these by just a little bit. So that when I do one, it won't be doing all of them. If you look at all the high spots in your audio, that's where you can put transitions. That's where you can make another picture pop up or whatever. Like, let's just go back to the beginning and watch these two that I have linked together.
Now see that was almost dead on the boing. So I'm going to separate it. I'm going to make this picture a little longer. Just click the edge of it and drag it. Okay. Now that I made that picture a little longer, and now I'm going to slide this one back over. And you can see it coincides with the peak in the music. Now watch. It'll change when it gets there. Okay. That's just one way to make your, your audio and your video match and go together. And then like I said, you can do it however many times you want or not even at all. Let's play it again. Now see with that boing. It starts right here. Starts right there. So that's where I want my next photo to start. So I'm going to separate them just a little bit. I'm going to click on the edge of it. You see the two little divider lines. Or you can have the one. It doesn't matter. Either or. Click and hold it. And drag it to where you want. If for some reason it won't let you drag. It's because it's at this red line. For the timeline. So just move that out of your way. Okay. Now you'll see you can drag this to exactly where you want it. So I'm going to drag it to the beginning of that peak in the music again. Bring the next photo over. Go back to the beginning of the timeline. Hit play again. <clears throat> see how the picture changes with the sound of the music? And now as you see, now I'm going to a bass beat on the drum. That's where I want my next picture to come in. So I'm going to... The easy way is just to move the line to where you want everything to transition. Right? And if for some reason it won't do it exactly, get it close and use your left or right arrow on your keyboard and just punch it. And as you can see, it's moving it. I'll put my finger there so you can see it. It's moving each time I press the left or the right button. So just hit those buttons until you get exactly where you want it. Then as you drag, your pictures will snap to that point. Okay? They go right to it. Now let's play it again. And see, that's how it works. That's just a cool, simple, easy way to make your pictures, photos, video clips, whatever, match the audio in your, in your uh, music. And don't worry about the pictures, because, let me move this out of the way. If it doesn't match it exactly, don't worry about it. Because watch, you can make the picture by clicking on the end of it. It doesn't matter which end you click on, right? You can make the picture as short as you want it or as long as you want it by clicking and holding and dragging the edge of that picture video you cannot do this way the only thing you can do with video is cut the video to make it fit and i'll show you that in another video later but this is just dealing with the photos and you know you don't want videos to stay on too i mean pictures to stay on too long because people lose attention but this is just a way to do it now let's assume that you have one that you want to add audio to or just say a small audio clip you want to add. Again, go up to File, Import Media, go to wherever you have your pictures or your video stored and pick one. Click it and let's just say for instance, I want to find one where it's driving by. Hold on one second, let me find one. Find a drive-by shot. I know I have some. I just want to find a cool one for you. Let's use this one. Click it and drag it in. Like I said, keep your space here. Click it and drag it in, okay? As you can see, it comes with its own audio clip. Several ways to do this. And as you can say, see, this didn't interfere. Now, if you didn't want the audio there, you could just drag the audio up over it. See how it's gone? You will no longer have the audio. But if you don't want that, and it won't take effect until you let go. So like right now, if I let go of it, it's now part of the video. 
I can drag it back down but the original audio is gone so to bring it back hold control and hit Z at the same time and it undoes each step you just did now watch So you still have that audio from the car. Now if you wanted the audio from the car to be louder, there's two ways to do that. You can click on the line for the audio, right? And it'll tell you how much you increase it. See, I just increased it 5.23 decibels. I can leave it like that and this is how it'll sound. And it works good, but you got to keep an eye on your control for your um, your graph for your sound, because if you watch, it peaks out. When it gets up to and stays in the top of the red like that, it's going to be distorted. So that's not really what you want. So I could bring that down just a little bit and we'll, and still have it more, or I can actually make the music less. The way to do that is you pick where you want your music to start fading. There's a little squiggly line in the bottom of each of the audio clips. Okay, let me drag this up so you can see. Click in the middle and just drag it like that. You'll see the up and down arrows. I'm going to click on that squiggly line in the bottom of the music. If I did it on this one, I'd be working with the audio for the, the car, but I want to do the music. So I click on the music icon or timeline. Click on the squiggly line and that brings up this. Okay. And what this does, it adds waypoints. So if I know that I want my music to start fading there, I click on this little dot. And now I add a, a point, a flag, whatever you want to call it. Boop. See, so it just added that red dot there. That's where my music's going to start fading. <clears throat> I want it to be faded from there to the finishing point when it gets to the beginning of the audio for the car. So now I just hit play again. And also you can use spacebar as play. As long as you're clicked on the audio, just hit, I hit the wrong thing. Let me go back. As long as you're, whatever you're working on, video, audio, whatever, as long as you have it highlighted, you can use the space bar as play and stop. So now that I have my beginning point, I want my end point right here. So I can do it, I can drag it and do it, or I can just hit play. And then stop it when it gets there to the transition. Hit the little dot over here again. And that adds another dot, as you can see. The red one is the one you're currently working on. So I want to drop the audio level. And as I do it, see it gives me the volume level again. I want to take this down to about 10 decibels below where I started. I won't be exact, 1047 is good enough. Now listen how it sounds. Eight. You see the audio is clearer for the car, it's louder. But you heard the peak in the music come back. So here's what we can do with that. As soon as the car drives off, And where the peak of the music is going to start coming back. I want to cut that video. I want to trim it. There's a little razor blade right there. But first I want to link the picture and the audio back together. So I click the link. Now I want to get grab the razor blade. You can see it's highlighted red. Come over to where, and it's only going to trim it wherever that line is or wherever I hold it. But I know that line is exactly where I want it trimmed. So I just bring the razor blade over to it. Click it. And now, go back up and click your pointer because if you don't, you end up trimming it again. Now I can go up, move my timeline out of the way. You can see there's a line there now. Click on the part we want to discard, right? Hit delete. And it's gone. <clears throat> so now let's watch it.
and you could hear the music come up back up right then so what I want to do now is I want to fade the tail end of the car music I mean car audio just ever so slightly so whenever you hover over one of the squares you can get a little pointer in each corner and what that is is a fade button so I'm going to drag that just a little bit right and then I want to bring the volume of the music back up so right before where that hits the peak again I want to drag it over right use my left and right arrows add another point Go down here and hit the little dot add another point let me move you over so you can see it better sorry a little circle right there click that adds another point I say starting point use your right mouse pad again to go to the end of the video clip and add your ending point now that we've got our fades and everything we can hit the squiggly line again and it gets rid of that below so we can't hit anything else again and now we're going to go to that last dot that we created let me move the timeline out of the way that last dot right there and drag it back up to where the counter says zero right there now watch how it sounds here comes the fade audio for the car and now the music and as we did with the music fading it away I mean the audio we can also put in a fade on the car so watch how that works watch at the very end of the car section see how it faded rather than just ending and then you just keep going up grabbing your media until you get everything you want and you're done uh, let me grab one more picture just to show you and they finally finished on my road so let me grab one of these just pretend this is the ending okay I can add a fade into the picture also just grab the little white pointer in the top of the photo and you can see how it's dark that tells you how far you're pulling your fade in into the photo I just want it to be about a tenth of a second something like that now watch now let's assume that's the complete video that I want of photos or snapshots whatever you want to call it and I, I got to put my ending in so I'm going to go over I'm going to scroll down where it says text I'm going to grab that pump, drag it over and put it where I want it and like I said we're just playing let's just assume that this is the end of the video I could put it at the very end where all you're going to have is well let's go ahead and put it in thanks for watching I can have it where it's like that and I can make it play as long as I want just by dragging it like you do your photos right I can have it start over one of the photos and then go black like such watch comes in now and I can add in a fade away on the car I mean, there's so many different things you can do with this. This is crazy. And then from there, all you got to do is save it all. To save it, click on Deliver. And then there's everything you've done. Now all you got to do is go up to the top. Figure out how you want to save it, where you want to save it to, right? In this case, I'm going to use it for a YouTube video, and I'm going to do it in 1080. Click on Add to Render Queue. Tell it where I want to save it to. Right. In this case, I'm going to save it to my hard drive. Click OK. Come over here. You can see where it is. 
and then after you click start render it'll show you a bar on there showing how much time's left and it'll give you a countdown timer and all that but I'm not gonna do that for this video but that's all there is to it now let's go back and watch it again because you at any time you can stop it go back and make edits issues or whatever like right now I don't want all that music left so I'm gonna click it I'm gonna pick where I want it to end click it highlight it delete now it's gone now let's go back and watch the whole video and it doesn't matter where your little timeline indicator is all you got to do is click just under the numbers any, anywhere sorry about that click anywhere under the numbers and it'll move your timeline pointer but we're going to watch the whole video so we're going to start at the beginning now let's watch see how it looks You always want to watch your complete video through so that you can see if there's any mistakes or anything like I didn't like how when I got to the end it just cut off so I'm going to go to the corner like I told you there's a little pointer on anything on here see there's two little white dots in the corners you can do this anywhere but it's a, the one on the left is called a fade in the one on the right is a fade out so I'm going to add a fade out to the music I don't want it to just end like that. I'm going to drag it in to about where the my ending starts, right? Now watch. You'll notice that it gets lower as it goes. That's all there is to it. Okay. This is a simple, easy way of adding steel shots with video shots, with music, transitions, everything. This is all there is to doing one. And I'll be doing more videos in the future if you've got anything that you'd like to see on how to do or anything like that. Just let me know. And I'll do my best to show it to you. But this is always very, very important. Go back before you render it to make sure it is how you want it. And just like the text over the car, let's go back to the beginning of it. You can see it's over the car. Well, that's no big deal. There's two ways to move it. Remember, whatever you want to work on, highlight. So I'm going to work on the text. I'm going to click on the text, and it brings up this window. Now, through this window, I can collect size. I can select size, tracking where I want it to start, and all that. All kind of different things. and change color. Just all kind of shadows. But for right now, all I want to do is move it. The easiest way to move it click on the text like I said then click on the, the actual text and hold it it puts a white box around it now you can drag this and put it wherever you want it okay but I want to drag it down to about right there and for this instance I want to add a drop shadow scroll down in your it's called an inspector window it's where you type your text and everything just scroll down in it pick the color shadow you want and then how much you want to offset it. And the more you offset it, as you can see, the more it changes it. I just well, I normally put mine around anywhere from five to ten. In. It just enough to make it stand out from the background. See? That's how it looks. And then I can add a fade in and a fade out to that if I wanted, but it's going to go to the end of the video, so I'm not going to worry about it, but I'm going to have it fade in for about a second. So let's watch the whole thing one more time. <clears throat>
So in there I've showed you how to in this video I've showed you how to upload and put photos and timelines. I've heard you I've showed you how to put video in your timeline. I've showed you how to add text to your timeline and your your videos and photos. And I've showed you how to add music to your video. I've also in this video showed you how to set uh, fade-ins and fade-outs and I hope that you have found this video useful and like I said if there's anything you'd like to see in the future just let me know and I'll try to get to it and until next time guys get out there and enjoy your ride and we'll see you in the next video thank you for watching